and I'm sitting here with the lovely Silly Gobi. Oh! Yo, Gobi! Let's go! But yeah, I love Silly Gobi. Long-time player. Uh, used to play Thatch. And Gobi is, is probably one of the few Thatch loyalists. Yes. Fun fact, Silly Gobi, Gobi is Excuse one of more. the only twins in the Brawlhalla community. Hey, everyone. Dreamhack Dallas out here on the floor. Toast. Surrounded by the Gobi Broby Bub... Gobi Broby Brothers. So Silly Gobi, he's like such an incredibly good player, especially when it comes to twos. But he's always been kind of this all-purpose putty glue for 2v2 teams. Anytime that you slap him with another player, he just enhances them tenfold. It's crazy. And again, more of these signatures coming out from Faison's Mordex. Neutral air from Silly Gobi. In response to the signature kick, Faison tries to go for the awkward timing. But Kobe with the big punish, down mm. like Dare, Sair, mm. over to the Blasters for the Dare weapon toss. Silly Gobi with three stocks up onto Faison. This was unexpected, to say the very least. First Just recently Santee's followed tweets. Santee. Yo, Santee's untouched. No! Blue team's untouched. Oh, Silly Gobi on the left side, wow. Simba's gone! Yeah, yeah. No way Simba can punish that. Oh, but Simba's getting shots out. Oh. Kobe with the drop, it's fine. <laughs> He's still it's three stocks to oh! one. It's 50-50 between both. Ooh, nice. Wrench. Wow. Oh, that grab has uh -oh, a bit Rich too early. Oh, is in trouble now. Oh, oh that's, that's no. Definitely the there you go. And that's the uh. kind of those are the kind of experiences that people are looking for, really. Because Billy's going to go from this and either be really sad and never play the game again or go, you know what? I want to beat that Scarlet next time I fight them instead of get stringed to Holy death. Holy moly, that Lance string. <laughs> He's like <laughs> kicking the air desperately. Like, how, oh, do I, how do I get back? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god! Again. Okay. And hammer and spear are the most flow charty weapons for team combos. Yeah, right. You can get some good amount oh. of damage, but we're about Ooh. to see if it's possible. Oh. Oh. As I'm saying that, look at what they've got prepared and Tiff trying to bring up the mammoth to finish Again. it off, but no, the bear! Nice play! Man, like, I don't care how familiar. Ooh! Good save though. Oh Ooh. my god! Catching him again? Simba yeah, going crazy off the side, to almost taking Ethan off, and he just dives off, knows he can't make it back. Ready? Not the ready, jellyfish, ready, ready, man. Ready? Oh, fuck. Are you? <laughs> back to the sword. Silly Gobi basically only playing the sword against Justin. There's the down sick follow up recovery. Gobi starting to really do some work here. Continuing his momentum oh, nice onto the second stock. Almost picking up with that dare. Gets on stage. Sig. Neutral light into the side sig. The weapon, weapon toss. toss. Hitting Jester. Big two stock lead. Oh my god. Get bodied. Oh my god. <laughs> I like what the adjustments that Gobi's making because you were talking about fishing for the signatures when he had enough damage to be KO'd. Now going oh for the my. standard things like daylight recovery. Oh, and now just these dodges. laddering up with recoveries. And yeah, Dark Bull's dodges are actually just going everywhere in Silly Gobi's favor. Dodging back, waiting for a weapon. Gobi keeping him denied. Tosses the blasters away. Doesn't want even want to go for downlights anymore. Just confident with the sword. <gasps> the patience on that oh. side air. Oh, Dark Cool. He finally finds oh. something. I feel like the oh, neutral would have that... been enough. Oh, oh my gosh! He's really low, he's really low. He's, he's dead, he's dead. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Games are, are just aggressive. I love to see it, but here we go, man. Silly go, we're starting off strong already. Oh, friendly fire immediately from the blue team, man. It's gonna take mm. Luna stop! Oh no! I don't think it was Boomy. Either way, Stomp Sider sends Magma flying. That means it's all left a part of the creed. There's no stock sharing oh. here as the oh! <laughs> from Silly Gobi! I'm so sorry. Staying center stage, knocking them off, going back, resetting, rinse, repeat. 
Let's see how it works here. Silly Gobi went for that early side stick finish. Nice stop at the sideline. Side air, Sandstorm. Getting sent flying to the left. And Starlight won his 1v1 against Ethan. 1v1s won on both sides, and they take a solid 6 to 4 stock lead in game number two. Both against Sandstorm and against Jester. How is he going to deal with Jester's bow? That's what I'm really curious about, because bow can be tricky to deal with. Right now, it doesn't even have to worry oh about it. Gosh. Silly Gobi with the edge guard. No, we get the blasters. Kill them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right here it is. Let's go! Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go! Crazy, bro. <laughs> That. And he won't have to worry about the risk of being too close with his side airs. Uh, hammer and sword alike are just going to hit if they're right in front of you, as opposed to the blasters where you have to be at the right range. And Cody just seemed to be so aware of all of the moves that Gobi was trying to throw out. Gobi doing much better on the sword here. Ground pound connects once and oh, oh Cody! No, Cody bumped his head! Honestly, a player that's improved so much is honestly still the Gobi. Yeah, yeah, I've said that before. Like, like it's terrible. insane. The man is just, he was, he was silly Gobi. Now he's. Yeah. Serious, Gobi, you know? Yep. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Stocks of damage are pretty even here. Silly Gobi might be able to- Oh, what a play! Gravity Castle down signature! Can you make Starlight? it back? No, no, he can't! Very nice signature indeed. Able to get that Sarah's will on to Sleepy. Having a hard time. Able to get that 2v2 combo as well. Action packed game so far. I can't believe all of this action has ensued in just one minute. Okay, Sleepy still hanging on to the stock, and you see Hydra occupying the space, able to get in there, somehow slip past that signature. I do not know how, but that is Sleepy gone. Hydra getting shut back down with the pogo. There it is again. Such a strong position here in game four. Oh, what a nice option from Silly Gobi with the gravity cancel side stick into a down air. Silly Gobi sword certainly doing the work they need. Got him with it. For game number five, it's all on the line. Both of these teams facing off one final time in this tournament, and here we go. Silly Gobi already getting a lot of damage built up on Ethan in the middle, trying to get him up high in the sky. Sandstorm trying to get the recovery off on, misses that, he finds the down air though. Simba just trying to find something to work out here, but Silly Gobi already getting a lot of work done with that sword. Wow, Gobi already taking oh. out Ethan. Not to mention Silly Gobi with that crazy early KO on Wrench. Oh, it? look at that Remember, double. What is oh, happening? Oh, man, like, they're making it look so easy. This is awesome. Holy cow. Starlight cannot get between these guys. Ground Under pound. Ground pound. This could oh. be it. What? That's it. All right, we're about to do a gun combo here. You ready? Offstage oh. confident cosplays. Side light, side air, sends part of the creed over. Here comes oh, the follow-up no. on the Magma Bob. Four hits on the Magma Bob, already in the orange on his second stock. Part of the creed has to save him. He has to help him out, but Gobi oh, no. dips pass, hits the nair. Magma oh, Bob no. down to his final stock, the weapon tosses. Oh, no. He set that up in 28, 20, 10. I was, trying to think, I was like, we're in That's 2018. That's the wrong year that you were Technically, he of. did set it up in 2018, <laughs> but that ruins the joke. <laughs> Either way, Brian with a fantastic setup with that weapon toss and just kicked Gobi right on into it. What a nice recovery pickup from Gobi.
Look at these reeds! Look at these reeds! That's what you get, you axe cheeser. He he just went too aggressive and got a, a got punished for it and oh. just died. Silly, silly, just gonna pick up where Simba left off and kill Lil Cab. That right there is the sticky of special. You boys will get it. That was big damage. Oh, yo, keep going? Yo, <laughs> you forgot! He's gotta play really close, especially against the Sir Roland, who even if he takes a lot of damage, he'll still be living. Great air dodge to stop that weapon throw from hitting him and gets that gravity cancel down light. Oh, my man. Gobi is moving, going though. Off. You see this? Gobi is going off. Slice two. Going to Gobi. Like, dude, if I was like anything but a pro, Velocity Grind and Dark Roll would just tilt me too much. I think Terrace is the best legend in the game. My bad, I wasn't in the right space. Oh, no, oh my god. <laughs> to throw Silly Gobi off that down second. Very nice option to go into that side light GC option. But he still needs a little bit more than that. That's not a lot of yep. damage to I out. always get scared for Silly oh. Gobi in these situations, even though stocks are even. Like, it's I, I, deep orange is essentially like, it's time to die, Thatch. One Nair, put him in the red, for example. Second neutral light puts him into kill percent. And Sandstorm has plenty of signatures in his arsenal that are going to be able to finish this off. So Silly Gobi's got to be very careful. That recovery Hope, thankfully, hitting him into the ground, but the ground. Oh, oh yes! Tips at 810, how's it going, man? Can't quite get enough bounce for that Nair follow-up. Ground Pound comes out from Silly Gobi. He's going to be looking for those Nairs, but Trick inside of him, able to catch him with an unarmed Nair. Gobi with a weapon toss Nair. Down oh! right into Ground Pound. Stock is gone. Carefully, doesn't want to get Ground Pounded. Simba knows he wants it, but Silly Gobi with a really nice read, hitting both of them with a stare, and... Simba's almost dead. He just charged up a side save. See, okay, that recovery did not gonna come just yet, but that's close one more and he's out. Side is gonna whiff. Simba trying to edge guard, but I mean, he gets it. Now Steve, he has no dodge. He, okay, there it is. Lights there. Those were gravity cancel side lights still in position for the side air. Side lights there. Cannonballs. Just fantastic. Recovery. Fantastic blaster spacing coming out from Silly Gobi. Get the, the blaster. Bait him out. Bait him out. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's, got uh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're eating. That was actually sick timing on that recovery because Silly Gobi had uh, Psych locked into the neutral air. Or, yeah, and uh, he ended up coming in below and punished while he was still in the active uh, hitboxes of that. So that was actually some really solid timing. But now it's down to the final stock of the players. Psych has already gotten taken down, and it's going to be between Starlight and Silly Gobi to take down Grizzly. They're chasing him so far off stage, not even concerned. Starlight falls to his death, but hey, it was worth it because so did Grizzly. Yeah, you, you, you have a fresh Gobi just waiting yeah, on the stage. Just chilling. If, if something happened to go wrong and Starlight ended up falling and not securing the kill, there was, there was a fresh Gobi, fresh as a daisy, ready to go. Silly Gobi over to the blasters now. Cannonballs. Down air. That's the stock. Silly Gobi with the three stock. Wow.
side sig! Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill. Side sig! Oh. Alright, alright, calm down, boys, calm down. Remy now all by him his lonesome silly goby with a recovery, looking for another one. Neutral air, not gonna connect. Whoa. Whoa. There it is! Or a 2v1 nonetheless. Like, nice. <laughs> oh. Watch the cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> They're horrible. <laughs> Out of here. Now this is a hard, hard two v one. Okay, never mind. It's a one v one. He just that was really well played. That's sir top notch. All right. Gets it and light, and now it's it's just a one v one. And it seems like Gobi, he's got the read, and he's just getting a lot of free hits right now. That weapon toss is really nice. He keeps getting in. That was unbelievable. Silly is just throwing Steve around. Like... Oh, he's in Steve's head for sure. That exhausted oh, yeah, recovery. Absolutely. Oh, maybe not. Let me see Steve with a small comeback. There's the downlight uh, dare. Oh, and it's back. Like, whoever gets this hit might just take it. Silly is oh. trying to farm out that uh, downlight sare or downlight dare, and he wasn't able to, so he had to fall down for that sare. And oh. this could be him. This could be it. Oh, if he nah. recovered, that would have been it. And that's There's it. the recovery, and that's it. But Kazu is doing a really good job with not taking Woo! on too much damage and following up. But here it is a 2v1. Nice. Woohoo! Blue team bringing it right back. With the early game lead here, Parallel able to get that anything out though. Okay. Adria needs to find a way to make it back on. Silly Gobi, though, with that weapon toss. That's enough. Down with the downlight recovery. Missed that. And with the downlight, missed the recovery. Oh, that's so clean. Do I like me? Ah. Fuck. Fuck. What? But maybe with these different picks of the Mordex, of the Linfei, they're feeling confident. And Akoslix with that reversal power, the hammer recovery, and red team barely damaged. Ooh. Uh, Adam, my guy. Yeah, you got styled on. My apologies. Hey, things happen. You get them out early, all right? <laughs> Game one. <laughs> Fine. Or game two. <laughs> Set one. All, right. All of them uh, getting close to that kill percent. Gobi not able to pick up the recovery though. Uh, so that means the blue team members are going to stay alive. Tui is very damaged. The recovery picks up and now it's all left to Vices to keep his team in the upper bracket. Both red team members are quite damaged though. Nope. Sare is enough. That, that may be a clip. That may be a clip. I grab it into his cannonballs. Llama, is that a clip? The mental game is affecting Silly Dude, It's working point. so well. Not to mention that Dark Ghoul's neutral sigs. I mean, they're not, oh. they're not. Oh man, Gobi's doing the, the gravity cancel downlights again. Although yeah. it started off really. These dodges sh from Ooh. Dark Ghoul are punishing him so hard right now. Yeah. But Gobi opened up last game almost exactly like That's that. That's true. Yeah. a lot of blasters work in the beginning. Ooh. He is really fishing for these signatures and kill percent. Ooh. Oh man. Almost all gravity cancel downlight recovery. He is recovery. struggling to no. find his footing right now. <laughs> uh, I'm devious sometimes. Simba picking up a great grand pound there on the left side. Oh, Kobe, nice. Down like grand pound on the right side, gonna keep themselves in the lead.
A biggest brain of all time, all right? Biggest brain of all time, and you cannot deny. Off stage with a scythe. His kill efficiency has probably also been insanely good, too. Oh, no. I was so expecting that to kill. Yo. Take him up. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You're just so close. Yeah. Celia has a lance already. Going for down airs. Tosses him to his face, actually, and gets a nice dive kick. Is already doing quite Ooh. good strings with, uh, with this lance. Yeah, the side light to down air combo is something that not a lot of people do with lance, but down air combo is better than like nair or anything else that the thing can do. It's a pretty good option. I mean, Silly's kind of just taking control of this match. Seems like Billy can't get an entry at all. Nice side air from Silly. Looks like Billy might even be dead from that. Wow. That oh, means wow. that you have to get the KOs though. Exactly. It doesn't matter how much damage you're doing. If Sandstorm's just walking around at kill percent, that's it. That's why I'm expecting to see that nice little side set coming up, put Sandstorm towards the left side of the stage, but he manages to survive because of where he was hit. Very, by very nice spot dodge from Silly Gobi oh, to lead into the KO. Fantastic play. Fuck out here, Wubs! <laughs> Skybro, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Dude, I've been using Unwind this entire time. I noticed. Oh my god. Oh, we're nuts! No, oh, no, that was easy. That was easy. Yo. Oh, you're still nuts! <laughs> That's a clip. Gobi trying to make that sandwich. You saw him. Go to the outside. There's the neutral light. Gravity gets a down light into the down light. Too close for the neutral sig, but the down sig finishes it off. See, so you don't my bed? No, you see, my bed is just made up of like one blanket or multiple blankets. I don't really use. I don't have any. I don't know what my taunts are, brother. I just kind of press them. You want, you want a weapon? I'll give you a weapon. Scummy. <laughs> so he's priming his next weapon because he wants to pick up the sword. Like you saw him pick up the guns, yeah. immediately throw them away, pick up the sword again. Ooh. So the next weapon he grabs is going to be a sword. Tried to slide charge that down signature. Oh. Another down signature. Recovery. I think that down signature is absolutely oh nasty. Yeah, Gobi's like, uh, he's, he's he is, going in. He's running away with this game right now. Oh, okay. Dark Gold trying to bring it back. Down Ooh, I'm surprised how, how did that miss? Yeah, yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Doesn't quite work like Dude, a three. That thing is so good. Man, Dark Gold just barely living, goes for that recovery, dodges away, waiting for a weapon spot maybe on that island, but I think that's going to be the end of the stock really Ooh, soon. Ooh, side air and... Yeah, that's it. Now it's 121. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh! <laughs> big string from Gobi off stage. There, TC D-Light, ground pound. We go for the neutral sig finish. He likes it. Oh! oh! It came so close. I know he's looking for that neutral sig. Oh! oh recovery hit! Dead. That's it! Wow. All right. He does not want to challenge Dark oh. off stage right now. Dark gets the recovery! Oh! oh. Down air! Oh! Sorry, this is, Dark this is happening! Toss the axe up! Pick oh. up the hammer! Oh, please get the axe oh. oh! He tries it! Ah, oh, the recovery was so close! Dark Gold oh. down sig! Second One more! Fire. Picks up the axe! Oh, oh, the oh recovery. It's wow. dead. Gobi just barely manages to take game number four. Dark will so close <laughs> to reverse. It was so close. <laughs> oh, okay. So stupid. <laughs> that's Zakoi. But he could have just drifted over onto the side and got his jumps back. Oh, that's so, that's so unfortunate. Now Crocky has to fight this 1v2. He's definitely a man that can get this done, but it's going to be difficult. And Silly Gobi and Tiffany are playing this well. You can just you can see they're they're playing around each other. 
They're not attacking unnecessarily. They're waiting for follow-ups. They're looking for guaranteed openers. Nice punish from Silly Gobi. Silly Gobi grabs a new weapon and rotates back around. Now Tiffany, what a nice Ooh. play. Perfect follow-up from Tiffany off of Silly Gobi's neutral save. And they're wow. going to get it. You know he's a man that can pull off a 2v1. He's probably not even worried right now. I'd be a little bit worried might, now. Yeah, you might need to be a little bit worried as Silly Gubby takes him out and is hardly even that damaged. Cody Travis is going to have to play, do something amazing here. Yeah, because Tiffany's the more damage of the two, but even she has still quite a while to go before being, like, in knockout range. Right. Right, so they, they can both kind of, like, trade who's, who's takes oh the my lead gosh. on this. All right, yes, Cody, you're going to have to rotate targets so quickly. Man, but the coverage from Silly Gobi and nice. Tiffany really just not giving him any quarter. Whoa, <laughs> risky business off the left-hand side. Whoa, the <laughs> cannonball! It drops so far! <laughs> okay, Brian, he's got the crowd on his side. Oh, no. Uh-oh, here comes the combo. I don't think the wow. combo is going to do Oh, anything that's about beautiful. That. Oh, but he did go for the gravity That cancel. was a lot of damage. Brian uh, very quickly sent from white to deep orange. And the science sync charge goes for the weapon toss. And wow. it does Gobi and Tiffany. And Ethan trying to get a little bit of something here. Almost getting caught in the team combo. And now Silly Gobi getting a little bit of a recovery. Getting hit by the blue team's recovery. Trying to get some kind of damage. He's got both oh, nice. Sandstorm and Ethan in the red. Looking for that final kill on a Sandstorm. He is the one deepest in the red. He can find this. Turn it into a 1v1. He has a better chance. Oh. Getting the guns. Uh. The science sync. Oh, that, but it drops. He still has an opportunity to keep this going. Oh, and there oh it my is! It's the kill! And now, 1v1. Ethan caught without a weapon. Now the spawn right on top of him. A little unfortunate for Silly Gobi. Trying to get a little bit more damage down. He has the guns. Oh he can get a little bit of a Calm down, combo Gobi. Calm going. Calm down, don't tell me what the hell is He takes it down! We take the those! In the 2v1. Signature. Faison's done a good job evening yeah. it up. That dare was really close to hitting that sweet spot, sending straight down, killing Phazon. Weapon, weapon toss. toss. Are we going to see another weapon toss? No, looks for the down air. Clash uh -oh, out. Uh-oh. But Gobi touches the wall, and Phazon did not. Phazon going to fall to his death. Game one goes the way of the underdog, Gobi. He's gotten good damage, has a noticeable lead over Phazon. Neutral That's orange. Ooh, Gobi's red. Picks up the down air. Neutral oh. sig. Can he take it to game oh. one? Weapon toss. Phazon oh, goes and Gobi hits the did it. Game number five. Honestly, for what it's worth, Gobi's offstage defensive play against the edge guard from Phazon in that last game, absolutely fantastic. Yes. He was able to defend himself so well, hitting just the right nears to get himself those wall Ooh. touches. Neutral signature. Spot dodges, expecting Phazon to go in. Sayer, Gobi with a control. Goes for the high read with the side air. Still denying the weapon. Neutral oh. sig again, silly Gobi! Neutralize. Just a neutral light, a little bit more damage. He has the blasters. Is he gonna be able to catch Phazon with a neutral signature like the he did cannonball. before? The cannonball's coming in, Phazon gets behind. Gets Weapon the toss, down line recovery, oh, not almost. enough! Almost, almost. Not enough! There's the sword. What was that down sig? Oh! No. He's still orange, he's still Weapon orange. Toss he's recovery! Gobi did it! Gobi Gobi did it! Silly Gobi! Gobi. The Goblin himself has knocked Phazon out! That is an upset oh from my Silly gosh. Kobe and the pop-off. Oh my gosh. So many games, so many sets, no reaction, but that time. Oh my Silly gosh. Kobe. We've seen Gobi come out to so many tournaments. He's been a, he's been a homie in the community for so long. Like, what a massive astronomically large win for him. Doing it up for Huge. Texas. On the other side of the bracket, we have Wrenched up against Starlight, and then Wilson up against Low Cap. I, dude, so yesterday, Gobi, like, at, in the morning, came up to me and was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, is this Groby or Gobi? And he was like, yo, it's Gobi. And then, like, I was like, oh, that's cool. And I hugged him. And then, like, literally, like, six hours later, he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, didn't I say hi to you earlier? And he's like, no. <laughs> and I was really confused, like, if I just got completely baited by one of the brothers. 
and then he just like realized that he forgot that he had said hi to me already. Which is like kind of the worst, but right. you know. Alright, come on. Come on, Joey. There he is. It's the goat. <laughs> the three times. Hey, by the goat, we're talking about Silly Goat. We're talking about Silly Goat. We're talking about Silly Goat. There he is. Long time friend. Long time friend. And I'm sitting here with the lovely Silly Gobi. So how long have you been playing Brawlhalla, like, total? I started early 2016. Okay, so you're one of sort of the original guard of Brawlhalla players, not quite going back to 2015 and earlier in 2015, like some of the, the closed alpha players and some of those, but still definitely I, I think you qualify for the veterans discount for for Brahalla, you've been around for a while. The hard thing is, most people, whenever they start getting to a competitive level, they start playing less, when you actually need to practice sometimes more, just to make sure that you have your game covered, you have those fundamentals down, you can't get lazy. You see, the big thing is focusing on your mistakes. Most people like to focus on their strengths and make sure their strengths are really good, but if you don't have an equal balance in what you're really good at and what you're really bad at and you understand what you're bad at so you can work on it in the offseason, you're not going to improve. You may improve a little bit, but in the areas that you struggle with and the players that you struggle with, you're not going to change at all. So say that you struggle against Wilson and it's very uh, ground-heavy, controlled play style. If you don't work on handling that play style, if you get to go against Wilson, you're going to get destroyed. You, you have to practice to be to beat the people that you can't beat instead of just focusing on the people that you can beat and make sure you're like three stocking, two stocking them. It's not going to matter. That's actually a really good piece of advice that everybody out there should take. I was a musician in high school and a little bit into college as well. If you practice the part of the the music or the piece or whatever it is that you're good at, that's not effective practice. You need to practice what you're bad at so that you can bring that up to the level. That's actually a really, really good piece of advice that seems obvious, but a lot of players don't do. So I think that's absolutely an, an amazing piece of advice for lower level players and for higher level players as well. This is Silly Gobi. Uh, you talked about your stream. Go ahead, tell me where, how, how, how can we find you, Mr. Gobi? You can go on twitch.tv slash sillygobi underscore. On my Twitter, it's just Silly Gobi, at Silly Gobi. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Anything else you want to say real quick? Not really. Thanks to you guys for uh, supporting me.